welcome back to the series of the dot net here we are talking about the different different components of the dot net in that order we will discuss about custom whenever you host your applications so you use is on the windows you use apache you use nginx in case of the kubernetes but imagine if an application having its own internal internal web server like IIS, Apache, Nginx. Here the Kestrel is doing the same. Kestrel is the web server. It's an internal web server. Kestrel is a cross-platform web server for ASP.NET Core. Kestrel is the web server that's included and enabled by default in ASP.NET Core project. So when you run the program, ASP.NET run Kestrel .NET.exe internally trigger the Kestrel as a web server. The create builder method called use Kestrel internally. And we can use the Kestrel by two ways. Here if you see, Kestrel can be used in any of the two ways mentioned below. First one is request from any network including internet. Second one is the reverse proxy server like IS, Apache or Nginx. If you see here, if the request come from the browser, Kestrel handle this request. If you are running directly from the network, including internet. And then Kestrel will create the instance of HTTP context and pass it to the web applications. The web application will respond back with the output to the Kestrel and Kestrel will send this output to the user. That is the direct process but but if you are using the IS Apache or Nginx as a reverse proxy server then the HTTP request received by the reverse proxy servers then it follows the same pattern. IS will send this request to Kestrel, Kestrel will compose the HTTP context and then will send to the web application. And in the reverse process, it follow the same path. Here we can also use .NET CLI to run the applications. If .NET CLI is used, it uses Kestrel server. Let's see how it work. If you see here, if I run the application using the IS Express, the HTTP request will go to the IS first, then Kestrel would be called. I can run from here. But let me change the method if I select the learn.net. In the launch dot setting you can see these are the two profiles. One is the IS, in this case the IS would be called first and Kestrel will listen the request that come from the IS. And if I run the program through this profile, in this case this port number would be used 5179. So in this case the 5179 is the port. And if you run the program using the CLI, like let me run the program. Let me run. In this folder, I will use the .NET CLI and I will use the command .NET run. In this case, Kestrel will be the web server. Kestrel would be triggered through the .NET .exe. And now listening on this is the URL and I can use this URL to launch the application. Here I can use this URL. So therefore, Kestrel work as internal hosting server. You can learn more about the Kestrel like in process, how it works with the out process and in process. But this basic knowledge is sufficient for you to understand about the internal hosting server. That's all in this video. I will see you soon in the next video. Happy learning.